Hello, hello, Watsonator here, and today we are looking at the one and only Metal Gear Solid. A two-disc masterpiece released in 1998 by Konami for the Sony PlayStation. I am currently working on another RetroArch emulator tutorial, where I go over how to handle multi-disc games and their saves. As an example for that video, I figured I would go ahead and get some footage of the disc change part in Metal Gear Solid, uh, where you must swap to disc 2. Uh, in order to sort of show firsthand how that whole thing works with the program. Well, in the process of replaying the game, I have just been overcome by wave after wave of nostalgia. The original Metal Gear Solid is such a beautiful piece of art, and I feel that the gameplay still holds up very, very well today. I can remember playing Metal Gear Solid about a year after it came out, and just being blown away when I was like 10 years old. I have vivid memories of the Cyborg Ninja slash Gray Fox fight, and probably being totally freaked out by that gruesome hallway you walked down before the fight and seeing that awesome cutscene. It's kind of funny because I think I had a lot of trouble beating this boss back in the day, and if you know what to do, this is actually a very easy fight, as you will see shortly. Anyway, I just felt compelled to share this great piece of gaming history on my channel. It's the first time we actually see Otacon in person, and we get that epic Cyborg Ninja Gray Fox reveal, both of who are very important characters in the Metal Gear universe. I recorded my boss fight as well as the cutscenes before and after the battle, and also the codec conversation that follows. So sit back and enjoy this classic gaming moment. like they were cut by some type of blade. It's, it's a ghost. Ugh. <laughs> Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. 
Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Remember me now. 
can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. <laughs> 